Grand Duchess Elizabeth Fedorovna of Russia was known for her beauty and charitable nature. After the assassination of her husband, Elizabeth was drawn towards the Russian Orthodox faith and led a life of charity. Ultimately, she lost her life at the hands of the Bolsheviks in 1918. Born Princess Elizabeth of Hesse and Bayreuth, Elizabeth was born on the 1st of November 1864 and was the second child of Princess Alice of the United Kingdom and Louis IV, Grand Duke of Hesse and Bayreuth. She was nicknamed Ella by her family. Elizabeth had six siblings, Victoria, Irene, Ernst Louis, Friedrich, Alex and Marie. Friedrich and Marie would die young Friedrich from a cerebral hemorrhage and Marie from diphtheria. Elizabeth spent her early life in Besungen and the new palace in Darmstadt. She shared a room with her sister Victoria, whom Elizabeth was very close to. In 1866, she and Victoria were sent to Britain to live with Queen Victoria during the Prussian invasion of Hesse. Elizabeth's childhood was mostly happy with her mother being hands-on in the care of her children. Elizabeth and her siblings received a strict education and were encouraged to be humble. They lived modestly, doing their own chores, and their mother sewed their clothes for them. Their mother spoke to them in English and their father in German, which helped them to become fluent in both languages. In 1873, Elizabeth's youngest brother, Friedrich, was diagnosed with haemophilia, which came as a shock to the royal families of Europe. Friedrich was the first descendant of Queen Victoria since Prince Leopold, one of Queen Victoria's sons, to be born with haemophilia and it indicated that the bleeding disorder was hereditary. He would die only months after being diagnosed, after falling out of a window onto stone steps. Tragedy would strike the family again in 1878. Members of Elizabeth's immediate family fell ill with diphtheria. Elizabeth did not contract the disease and was sent away to stay with her paternal grandmother, Elizabeth, for her safety. Her mother also didn't contract the disease until much later and stayed behind to nurse her family. On the 16th of November 1878, Elizabeth's youngest sibling, Marie, died. And less than a month later, Elizabeth's mother also died. Elizabeth and her siblings would spend the subsequent years under the supervision of their maternal grandmother, Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom. The Queen became close to her Hessian grandchildren, becoming a sort of mother to them. Elizabeth was considered to be quite charming and beautiful. She attracted several suitors, including Prince Wilhelm of Prussia, the future Wilhelm II German Emperor, and Prince Friedrich of Baden, the future Friedrich II Grand Duke of Baden. She rejected both princes. The Hessian court had a special relationship with the Russian court. Elizabeth's great aunt, Empress Maria Alexandrovna of Russia, regularly visited her homeland and was accompanied by her two youngest sons, Sergei and Paul. Elizabeth and Sergei got to know each other well and Elizabeth fell in love with Sergei. Queen Victoria was against the match, mostly due to her strong dislike for all things Russian. Despite this, Sergei proposed to Elizabeth in 1883 and she accepted. The wedding was held on the 15th of June, 1884, at the Winter Palace in St. Petersburg, Russia. Two ceremonies, one Lutheran and one Russian Orthodox were held. Queen Victoria did not attend the wedding and was represented by the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Edinburgh, her two eldest sons and Elizabeth's uncles. After her wedding, Elizabeth was known as Grand Duchess Elizabeth Fedorovna. The couple spent their honeymoon in Sergei's country estate and then settled at Sergeyevsky Palace. They also lived on the grounds of Peterhof. Sergei and Elizabeth had no biological children. It's not clear whether they ever consummated their marriage, as Sergei was gay. They later took in the children of Sergei's brother Paul, Maria and Dmitri. Their mother had died in childbirth in 1891 and their father had entered into a second marriage 
this time a more gnatic marriage. Paul was banished from Russia as a result. His children were not allowed to go with him and they were placed in the care of Elizabeth and Sergei. Elizabeth and Sergei were close to Sergei's brother, Alexander III, and his wife, Maria Fedorovna, born Dagmar of Denmark. They often represented the Tsar abroad, such as at Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee and the consecration of the Church of St. Mary Magdalene in Jerusalem. In 1894, Elizabeth's youngest surviving sister, Alex, married Sergei's nephew, Nicholas II. In 1891, Sergei was appointed Governor General of Moscow, and he would be appointed to the Imperial State Council and be made commander of the Moscow Military District. In 1894, Nicholas became the Tsar, and over the next 11 years, Sergei became more disenchanted with the policies of his nephew. He resigned from his position as Governor General on the 1st of January 1905. On the 17th of February 1905, Sergei was assassinated. He was en route to the Governor General's mansion to clear out his office when a bomb was thrown into his carriage right onto his lap. He was killed instantly. His assassin, Ivan Kaliev, was arrested and executed. Elizabeth forgave him and campaigned for him to be pardoned. It was unsuccessful. Elizabeth converted to the Russian Orthodox Church in 1891. In 1909, Elizabeth sold all her possessions and used the proceeds to open the convent of Saints Martha and Mary. She became its abbess. A hospital, pharmacy and orphanage were opened in the convent and Elizabeth and the nuns spent their time serving the poor of Moscow. Elizabeth last saw her sister Victoria in 1914 right before the First World War began. They would not see each other alive again. After the Russian Revolution, Elizabeth was arrested in 1918 by the Bolsheviks and was sent to the Urals, where she was joined by other members of the Russian imperial family. They were later taken to Alapaisk. On the 18th of July, 1918, the day after Elizabeth's sister Alex and her entire family were assassinated, Elizabeth and those with her were thrown into a mine shaft. One of the group, Grand Duke Sergei Mikhailovich, died from the fall. Hand grenades were thrown in after them. Only one died from the grenades. The rest began singing hymns. Eventually, wood and brush were set on fire and thrown into the mine shaft. All would eventually die from their wounds. Three months later, the White Army found the remains of the victims, and Elizabeth's remains were interned at St. Mary Magdalene's convent. Elizabeth was canonized as a saint by the Russian Orthodox Church outside of Russia in 1981 and in 1992 by the Moscow Patriarchate as new martyr Elizabeth.